Welcome to Day One in Shanghai by Fluence. I'm Sonia Gill, and I lived in that wonderful city while learning Chinese. In the next few minutes, I'll explain how to form the key expressions you'll need in any Mandarin-speaking city on that first day. I'll cover the basics on how to communicate with a cab driver, what to say to a waiter at a restaurant or cafe, how to ask questions when pointing at a map. And a few other essential situations faced by travelers. After this video, you'll have a whole battery of interactive exercises to practice with. All right, enough babbling. Let's get to it. Ready to get going? Here are the two words that I learned first when learning a new language. Zhege. This. Notice how the Z H sound a bit like a J. Zhege. And yes, exaggerate like me. Zhege. And na ge. That. If you're going to know very little vocab, these words are ideal. I need this. I want that. How much is this? So repeat after me. Open your mouth and exaggerate. Come on. Zhege. Na ge. As you can tell, I am not a native Mandarin speaker. My pronunciation is quite good, but it's not perfect. In the workouts that come afterwards, you'll practice following a native speaker's voice. But I'm your example. If I can speak Mandarin, so can you. Okay, so how do you say this? Zhe ge. Write it down if you need to. Make it stay in your brain. And that? Na ge. Good. Now you can say things like zhe ge ka fei. Can you guess what this means? This. Coffee. Zhege cafe. And how would you say that coffee? Na ge cafe. Keep watching this because slowly I'll show you how to form your own sentences. After years of work creating language learning platforms, we know that you will learn very fast. If our explanations have common sense, if we use relevant material that you actually need, and if we stay away from those so-called immersion methods that treat you like a child by forcing you to match words and images over and over again, instead, we'll show you how Mandarin works from the point of view of an English speaker. Let's keep at it. Once you arrive in China, you'll probably. Hop on a cab to go to the hotel, drop your things off, and get something to eat. Let's work on the basics at the restaurant first. Then we'll work on the cab. It's all connected. So, to be able to successfully get what you want by pointing things at a menu or perhaps at other people's dishes, you'll need the whole "I want this." I want that. I is wo, not wo. It's wo. Notice how I'm singing it a bit. My voice kind of follows the shape of that accent mark on top of the o. It goes down, then up. Wo. Those accents represent tones, and tones are very important because different tones give words different meanings. If I say "wo" instead of "wo," I'm actually saying "nest" and not "I." So again, "I" is "wo." In the workouts. 
be sure to pay close attention to the sounds and tones. Try to imitate what you hear as close as possible. I want would be 我要 我要 want 我要 or the negative form 我不要 I don't want 我不要 Again, notice how I say it. 不 goes up. 不 and 要 goes down. It follows the marks. 我不要 Now let's put a phrase together. I want this. 我要 这个 I want that 我要那个 See? You're speaking Chinese already. A note. In this brief lecture, I'm exaggerating the sounds quite a bit, and I'm speaking very slowly. This is not regular street speed. But I think it's crucial to really internalize the concepts first, then work on speed. In the workouts, you'll get to practice at a faster pace. For now, let's focus on getting the concepts down. Now let's say, I don't want this. 我不要这个 Or 我 不要那个 Excellent. Now, a few words and you'll be constructing phrases on the spot. Water is 水 Pay attention to the sounds. 水 我要水 I want water. 我要水 Or you could say 我要咖啡 I want coffee. Let's learn another drink, a common one in China. 茶 Notice how my voice is just rising. 茶 我要茶 I want tea Good, so let's order the three drinks Tea, coffee and water 我要茶 我要咖啡 我要水 Although if you're going to ask for water, I advise you to be precise about the temperature. Usually, water is served hot in China. Hot as in boiling hot. So if you want cold water, you're going to have to be specific. Bing shui, cold water. Bing shui. 我要冰水. Awesome. Now, to finish up the basics at the restaurant, let's get the bill. Ready? The bill is my dan. No the in Chinese. Just my dan. Notice the sounds. My down and up. Dan flat and up. 我要买单 I want the bill Or how about I don't want the bill I doubt you'll get away with it but let's say it for practice sake 我不要买单 I don't want the bill 
Good job. Let's throw in a thank you and we're good to move on. Thank you. Xie xie. The X sounds a bit like a sh. Xie xie. Good. I think with these, you can survive at a restaurant. At least you can point at things that you like and explain, I want this or that. Better than pure hand signals, right? Okay, let's jump over to the second topic, the cab. You land, grab your suitcase, and hop on a cab. Let's imagine you have the name of the hotel written on a piece of paper, something that I highly recommend because in my experience, cab drivers rarely speak a word of English, not even the words Hyatt Hotel, just to give an example. So print out the name of the hotel in Chinese characters, show it to the driver and say, I want to go here. You already know I want. 我要 我要去这里 I want to go here. Let me break it down for you. 去 is to go. The Q sounds like a CH. The U is very closed, kind of like a small sneeze. 去 Pucker those lips. Come on. 去 我要去 这里 is here. 这里 那里 there. 那里 Does it look a bit familiar? Well, these are quite similar to 这个 this 那个 that. So we have 这里 Nali Jug Nag Back to our phrase Wo Yao Chu Jelly I want to go here. Very good. Let's build up on this a bit and combine it with what we learned previously. 酒店 means hotel. I'll go slow. 酒店 酒店 这个酒店 This hotel. I want to go to this hotel. 我要去这个 Jiu-dian. Amazing, right? Let's hear it again. 我要去这个酒店 Fan is restaurant. Fan dian. Na ge fan dian. Wa bu yao chu. Na ge fan dian. I don't want to go to that restaurant. So we have fan dian. Jiu dian. These words are in themselves composed of other words. Fan means meal and dian, shop. So shop for meals. Fan dian. Same with jiu dian. Jiu, alcohol. Dian, shop. Hotel. Pretty cool, right? There are other ways of saying hotel and restaurant, but let's keep it simple. This is a lot to keep in mind. The sounds are tough to keep straight because to the untrained ear, they sound kind of similar. <laughs>